talking shit. Like, I seen the video of Devin Haney getting his ass knocked out by Tank Davis. I personally seen the video. Devin Haney is knocked out almost cold by Tank Davis. I seen it with my own eyes. Gervonta Tank Davis, the man with fists of fury, steps into the ring with none other than Devin Haney, the rising star of the boxing world. And guess who's lurking in the shadows like the puppet master himself? Floyd Mayweather. You heard that right. Floyd, the man who practically breathes boxing. Now, rumors are swirling faster than a boxer's footwork that Tank absolutely demolished Haney in that sparring session. But here's the kicker. There's footage of the whole shebang floating around like confetti at a victory party. And guess who's playing the role of the reluctant gatekeeper? Floyd Mayweather, the man with more secrets than a spy novel. Tank, not one to shy away from boasting, took to the gram to claim he blocked Floyd because he wouldn't share the footage. I whooped that boy's ass, he says with the confidence of a champ. But hold on to your gloves because things are about to get even juicier. Enter Ryan Garcia, the heartthrob of the boxing world. In a recent interview, he drops a bombshell, claiming Floyd showed him the sparring footage. Floyd show you that? Yes. Okay. I have the video. So, I, I saw... Coincidence? I think not. Lo and behold, sparring footage of Tank and Haney surfaces like magic. And guess who's in the eye of the storm? Yep, you guessed it. Ryan Garcia. Now, before you start sharpening your pitchforks and lighting torches, let's hear Ryan's side of the story. The man stands tall, a lone warrior in the face of swirling allegations. I didn't leak anything, he declares, his voice a mix of defiance and determination. But the whispers persist like pesky mosquitoes on a hot summer night. Sources close to the scene swear it was Ryan who spilled the beans, but Ryan, he's not having any of it. I'm not here to play games, he says, his tone as sharp as a left hook. I've got my own battles to fight. And let's not forget about the man of the hour, Floyd Mayweather. With accusations flying left, right, and center, he's caught in the crossfire of a media storm. The sparring footage, or lack thereof, has everyone pointing fingers faster than you can say knockout. For Ryan, it's a battle of integrity in a world where trust is as rare as a heavyweight with a glass jaw. I've got nothing to gain from leaking sparring footage, he insists. His words a rallying cry amidst the chaos. But mark my words, the truth will come out. But wait, there's more to this saga than meets the eye. As the dust settles, new rumors start to surface like bubbles in a soda. Some say there's bad blood brewing between Tank and Haney, a rivalry simmering just below the surface. Could this be the reason behind the leaked footage? Or is there something more sinister at play? And what about Floyd Mayweather, the man who's always been as elusive as a shadow in the night? Some say he's pulling the strings behind the scenes, orchestrating this whole drama like a master conductor. But others believe he's just caught in the middle of a storm he didn't see coming. As the days pass and the gossip mill keeps churning, one thing becomes clear. In the world of boxing, nothing is ever as it seems. Behind every jab and every hook lies a story waiting to be told. And it's up to us, the spectators, to unravel the mystery one punch at a time. Now let's dive deeper into the tangled web of relationships within the boxing elite. Some insiders suggest that the beef between Tank and Haney might run deeper than what meets the eye. Whispers of locker room tensions, heated exchanges during press conferences, it's a narrative that adds another layer of complexity to this already enthralling story. Imagine the scene, the air thick with tension, gloves laced tight, and egos clashing like heavyweight titans. Could this rivalry be the catalyst for the leaked footage? Is it a calculated move to tarnish the reputation of one fighter while elevating another? The drama in the ring might pale in comparison to the theatrics outside of it. And then there's Floyd Mayweather, the enigmatic maestro orchestrating this symphony of chaos. Some speculate that his influence over the situation is more significant than he lets on. Is he pulling strings to create a narrative that suits his agenda? Or is he just an innocent bystander caught in the crossfire of egos and ambition? The absence of the sparring footage becomes a character in itself, a silent observer in the unfolding drama. It raises questions about transparency in the sport, about what happens behind closed doors when the cameras are turned off. In a world where image is everything, the withholding of such a crucial piece of evidence raises eyebrows and stirs the pot of controversy. As we navigate through this labyrinth of rumors and half-truths, one thing becomes abundantly clear. 
The world of boxing is as much about politics and mind games as it is about raw talent and skill. Each punch thrown in the ring carries the weight of a thousand narratives, and each fighter becomes a pawn in a larger chess game where victory isn't just about landing the perfect hook. But that's not all. The plot thickens, my friends. This saga isn't just about leaked footage and blocked social media accounts. Oh no, it's like a tangled web of drama, betrayal, and unanswered questions. Let's break it down, shall we? So, remember when Gervonta Davis dropped the bombshell about blocking Floyd Mayweather versus over the sparring footage dispute? Well, that was just the tip of the iceberg. It turns out there's more to this story than meets the eye. We're talking about a rift between mentor and protege, a clash of egos that's shaking the boxing world to its core. Davis's claim that Mayweather was withholding the footage raised eyebrows and sparked a firestorm of speculation. What's on that tape that's got everyone in such a frenzy? Is it proof of Davis's dominance over Haney? Or is there something else lurking in those shadows? But here's the kicker. Why hasn't Gervonta Davis reached out to Ellie Sekbach, the man who holds the keys to the kingdom, the footage himself? I mean, Sekbach was there, right in the thick of it all, documenting the doghouse sparring sessions like a boxing historian. Yet Davis seems to be dancing around the issue, leaving us scratching our heads in confusion. And let's not forget about Devin Haney's failed attempt to get his hands on the footage. Loyalty to Davis or fear of what the tape might reveal. The plot thickens, my friends. Thicker than a heavyweight's neck. Now, the big question on everyone's minds. Is Davis's reluctance to release the footage a sign of weakness? Could it be that Haney got the upper hand in those sparring sessions? Leaving Davis licking his wounds and nursing a bruised ego? It's a theory that's gaining traction faster than a fighter on a winning streak. And speaking of winning streaks, let's not overlook the rumors swirling around Nate Jones and Bill Haney's alleged wager against Adrian Broner's father. If history is anything to go by, then maybe, just maybe, there's more to this story than meets the eye. Could Davis be hiding a defeat under all that bravado? It's a question that's got the boxing world buzzing louder than a swarm of angry bees. But amidst all the drama and speculation, one thing remains clear, the clamor for clarity. The boxing fraternity is hungry for answers, thirsty for the truth that lies buried beneath layers of gossip and hearsay. And let's not forget about the potential showdown between Davis and Haney. Oh boy, talk about a fight for the ages. With both fighters at the top of their game, a bout between these two would be the stuff of legend. It's the matchup that dreams are made of, the clash of titans that could redefine the landscape of modern boxing. Now let's delve deeper into the upcoming Devin Haney vs. Ryan Garcia bout. The recent fight conference left everyone in awe, but not necessarily for the right reasons. It was more like a clash of egos than a battle of words, with tensions running higher than a Mayweather pay-per-view. Devin Haney, the reigning WBC super lightweight champion, finds himself at the center of controversy, thanks to his upcoming adversary, Ryan Garcia. With their bout set for April 20th at the Brooklyn Center in New York, the anticipation is palpable, like waiting for the bell to ring in the final round of a championship fight. But hold on to your gloves because things took a turn for the dramatic during the launch press conference. What started as a typical face-off between opponents quickly escalated into a verbal sparring match that could rival anything you'd see in the ring. These guys weren't just exchanging jabs, they were throwing haymakers. Ryan Garcia's recent comments during an online interview added fuel to the fire. I mean, the guy openly admitted to being high as a kite during training. Talk about transparency, right? His candid confession raised more than a few eyebrows and left many wondering if he's taking this fight seriously or just treating it like a sparring session at the gym. In response, Devin Haney took to social media to vent his frustrations, declaring he wasn't going to attend the press conference. And who could blame him? If your opponent shows up to a press event stoned out of his mind, you'd probably want to skip it too. The fight is still on, but I'm not going to that press conference tomorrow. This dude Ryan wasting mine and everybody's time, Haney stated on social media. Motherfucking press conference, drunk as a skunk, but, uh, drunk? <laughs> you know, uh, hopefully, you know, he, he get it together before April 20th, and uh, I'm going to have him punch drunk on the... His frustration palpable. The tension between these two isn't just for show, folks. Security had to step in during a previous press event, showing just how volatile things can get when egos collide in the world of professional boxing. 
It's like trying to contain a wildfire with a garden hose. Not an easy task. Haney's camp isn't holding back either. His father didn't mince words when he claimed Garcia was drunk as a skunk at the previous press conference. Ryan was at the Mother F. King press conference drunk as a skunk, Haney's father revealed in an interview with Fight Hub TV. Ouch. Those are fighting words if I've ever heard them, and they cast a shadow of doubt over Garcia's professionalism and commitment to the sport. But amidst all the drama and controversy, there's still a fight to be had. And let's not forget the backstory. These guys have faced each other six times in the amateur ranks. This isn't just another bout. It's a chance for both fighters to prove themselves on the biggest stage of all. As April 20th approaches, boxing fans everywhere are holding their breath, hoping this spectacle goes off without a hitch. But with Garcia's behavior casting a shadow over the event, there's a sense of uncertainty lingering in the air. Will these two be able to put their differences aside and deliver a fight for the ages? Only time will tell, my friends. Only time will tell. The anticipation for this showdown is like waiting for the final round of a championship fight. It's a clash of titans that transcends the boundaries of the ring, captivating audiences worldwide. With both fighters aiming to etch their names in boxing history, the stakes couldn't be higher. But let's not overlook the significance of their professional rematch. Having faced each other six times in the amateur ranks, Haney and Garcia are no strangers to each other's styles and tactics. This familiarity adds an extra layer of intrigue to an already compelling matchup, promising fireworks from the opening bell to the final decision. Garcia's admission of being high during the interview has set tongues wagging and tempers flaring with Haney wasting no time in labeling him a time waster. As the countdown to their showdown on April 20th in New York continues, tensions are reaching a boiling point, reminiscent of a pre-fight stare-down in the ring. During their recent press conference in New York, the atmosphere crackled with tension as verbal jabs were exchanged and accusations flew like punches in the ring. Haney, not one to hold back, alleged that he could smell alcohol on Garcia's breath, branding him an alcoholic and a drunk. The confrontational atmosphere set the stage for a charged build-up to their impending bout, with emotions running high on both sides. In the heat of the moment, both fighters seized the opportunity to deliver confident statements about their chances on fight night. Garcia, whose only career loss came against Gervonta Davis last year, didn't mince words. This is a big opportunity for me. I want to go for legacy and belts. Devin is in the way and I'm on my vengeance arc. I'm coming straight for his neck, I promise you that. Meanwhile, Haney remained unfazed by Garcia's bravado, confident in his ability to emerge victorious. This is going to be a hell of an event, Haney declared. We've seen Ryan quit before and take a knee before. On April 20th, it will be no different. Dazen have put the bounty up, and on April 20th, I'm capturing the bounty and coming home with the victory. The anticipation for the second leg of the press conference tour, set to take place in Los Angeles, heightened expectations among fans and pundits alike. However, Haney's bombshell announcement on social media that he would not be attending the event due to Garcia's recent behavior added another layer of intrigue to the unfolding saga. Garcia's candid participation in a space on X, where he addressed allegations of alcoholism and openly admitted to being high as F, only added fuel to the fire. His unapologetic response to inquiries about his lifestyle choices and training regimen intensified the scrutiny surrounding his preparation for the bout. In response to Garcia's remarks, Haney expressed his frustration, stating unequivocally, I'm not going to that press conference tomorrow. This dude Ryan is wasting mine and everyone's time. Haney's decision to boycott the event underscored his dissatisfaction with Garcia's conduct and signaled his unwillingness to engage in what he perceived as unnecessary theatrics. As the scheduled press conference loomed, both fighters remained steadfast in their commitment to victory. Garcia, undeterred by the controversy swirling around him, emphasized his determination to pursue glory and redemption in the ring. Asserting his intentions, Garcia declared, I'm on my vengeance arc. I'm coming straight for his neck, I promise you that. Haney, on the other hand, exuded confidence in his ability to emerge victorious on fight night. Referencing Garcia's past performances, Haney suggested that history would repeat itself, predicting, on April 20th it will be no different. 
Dazen have put the bounty up, and on April 20th I'm capturing the bounty and coming home with the victory. The anticipation for the second leg of the press conference tour, set to take place in Los Angeles, heightened expectations among fans and pundits alike. However, Haney's bombshell announcement on social media that he would not be attending the event due to Garcia's recent behavior added another layer of intrigue to the unfolding saga. Garcia's candid participation in a space on X, where he addressed allegations of alcoholism and openly admitted to being high as F, only added fuel to the fire. His unapologetic response to inquiries about his lifestyle choices and training regimen intensified the scrutiny surrounding his preparation for the bout. In response to Garcia's remarks, Haney expressed his frustration, stating unequivocally, I'm not going to that press conference tomorrow. This dude Ryan is wasting mine and everyone's time. Haney's decision to boycott the event underscored his dissatisfaction with Garcia's conduct and signaled his unwillingness to engage in what he perceived as unnecessary theatrics. As the scheduled press conference loomed, both fighters remained steadfast in their commitment to victory. Garcia, undeterred by the controversy swirling around him, emphasized his determination to pursue glory and redemption in the ring. Asserting his intentions, Garcia declared, I'm on my vengeance arc, I'm coming straight for his neck, I promise you that. Haney, on the other hand, exuded confidence in his ability to emerge victorious on fight night. Referencing Garcia's past performances, Haney suggested that history would repeat itself, predicting, on April 20th it will be no different. Dazen have put the bounty up, and on April 20th, I'm capturing the bounty and coming home with the victory. But hold on to your seats because things took an unexpected turn. Hearn, in his typical promoter fashion, didn't hold back declaring, I think he might be unbeatable. He might be one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport. When you're as dedicated as he is and when you do things right. However, before Hearn could finish his monologue, Garcia, never one to shy away from speaking his mind, jumped in with a rebuttal that could be felt all the way to Madison Square Garden. Come on, Eddie, stop lying. That's a crazy statement, dude. Anybody is beatable, that's Cap, and I like you. You don't have to lie, that was a lie. Garcia's candid retort cut through the scripted niceties of press conferences like a swift uppercut, revealing his unshakable belief in his own abilities and his refusal to buy into the hype surrounding his opponent. It was a moment of pure authenticity in an arena often clouded by smoke and mirrors, showcasing Garcia's fierce determination and competitive spirit. The exchange with Hearn only added fuel to the fire, underscoring Garcia's relentless pursuit of victory in the ring. Since his loss to Gervonta Davis last April, Garcia has been on a mission to prove his resilience and reclaim his status among boxing's elite. His public reconciliation with Golden Boy and Bernard Hopkins further added to the narrative of his comeback story, infusing the upcoming bout with Haney with even more significance. As the press conference came to a close, the tension between Garcia and Haney reached a boiling point during their face-off, offering a glimpse of the intensity that will unfold in the ring. With both fighters fully committed to victory, the stage is set for a showdown that promises to be nothing short of spectacular. So, mark your calendars, folks, because April 20th isn't just another day on the calendar. It's the date when two warriors will step into the ring and leave it all on the canvas. And trust me, you won't want to miss a second of the action. In the world of boxing, tensions and rivalries often spill over into dramatic press conferences, and the latest altercation involving Ryan Garcia and promoter Eddie Hearn is no exception. As the highly anticipated bout between Garcia and Devin Haney looms on April 20th in New York, the pre-fight hype reached a crescendo during the kickoff press event, showcasing the raw emotions and competitive spirit of both fighters. Eddie Hearn, the head of Matchroom Boxing and Haney's promoter, took to the stage to sing praises of the young champion, setting the tone for the event. However, Hearn's effusive praise of Haney struck a nerve with Garcia, prompting an unexpected exchange that reverberated throughout the boxing world. During Hearn's address, he boldly proclaimed, I think he might be unbeatable. He might be one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport. When you're as dedicated as he is, and when you do things right. However, before Hearn could conclude his statement, 
Garcia interjected with palpable frustration, rebuking Hearn's assertion by stating, Come on, Eddie, stop lying. That's a crazy statement, dude. Anybody is beatable, that's Cap, and I like you. You don't have to lie, that was a lie. Garcia's candid retort cut through the scripted niceties of press conferences like a swift uppercut, revealing his unshakable belief in his own abilities and his refusal to buy into the hype surrounding his opponent. It was a moment of pure authenticity, in an arena often clouded by smoke and mirrors, showcasing Garcia's fierce determination and competitive spirit. The exchange with Hearn only added fuel to the fire, underscoring Garcia's relentless pursuit of victory in the ring. Since his loss to Gravanta Davis last April, Garcia has been on a mission to prove his resilience and reclaim his status among boxing's elite. His public reconciliation with Golden Boy and Bernard Hopkins further added to the narrative of his comeback story, infusing the upcoming bout with Haney with even more significance. Garcia's determination to emerge victorious on April 20th was palpable, setting the stage for a clash of titans in the super lightweight division. As the final bell rings on this whirlwind journey through the world of boxing, one thing remains abundantly clear. The sport is a stage for drama, passion, and unyielding determination. From leaked sparring footage to fiery press conferences, the saga between Gervonta Davis, Devin Haney, and Ryan Garcia has captivated audiences worldwide. As April 20th approaches, anticipation reaches a fever pitch, promising a showdown of epic proportions. But beyond the punches and rivalries lies a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring allure of the sweet science. Until next time, peace out.